Hey, so we're gonna get the spring vibes. Me and Lulu here. Now you can sit on a chair. I'm sitting on a, a bolster. Uh, but if you're not comfortable on the floor, you can sit on a chair. And the most important thing is that your spine is nice and tall, so you're not slouched and you're, you're not got tension in your hips. So if that's better on a chair with your feet flat, then that's perfect. Just imagine lengthening the crown of your head up towards the sky. Shoulders relax and just take a moment, close your eyes and check in. Just simply notice how you're feeling right now. We've become so disconnected with our body. You know, we don't tend to notice aches or pains until they become like a, a chronic ongoing condition. So just notice how it feels being in your body right now. With no judgment, no criticism and no expectations either. However you're feeling is perfect. And noticing how you're feeling energetically. You may have noticed a subtle shift as we move out of the kind of heaviness of winter into spring. You may start to feel more energetic. You may be starting to crave different kind of foods. And just start to breathe a bit more deeply. Allow your belly to relax and try and breathe right down into your belly instead of just into your chest. So as you breathe in, Feel your belly expand, your ribcage expand, your chest rise. As you breathe out, feel your chest relax, ribcage relax, and belly button drawing towards the spine. And just notice if you're holding tension anywhere. You know, sometimes we don't realize we're holding it until we let it go. Notice any areas that feel kind of vulnerable, feel a little bit sore or fragile. So we always work and honour where we are this moment in time. And just taking this time, just simply doing this will help you feel calmer because you're turning your senses inwards, taking it away from all the distractions. We've got so many distractions in our life nowadays. Take one more nice deep breath in and let it go. And opening your eyes. I've always got a nice Lulu here. <laughs> and if you're sitting cross legged, have your hands on your shins. If you're on your chair, you have your hands on your knees or thighs. And just bring your awareness to your spine from your tailbone all the way down there to the base of your skull. I'm just going to flex the spine as you breathe in, lift your chest as you breathe out, round lift through your upper back. So you're rocking on your sit bones, on your pelvis. Breathe in and out. Head stays in neutral, so don't lift the chin up, just let the head be in neutral. And breathe in and out through the nose, and especially on that exhale, imagine forcing the breath out. So like a light sniffing breath. So you might be breathing a little bit quicker than you're used to, but this is also a very heating and energizing breath. If you need to go a little bit slower, just go a little bit slower, but try and go at a decent pace. And you can even go a little bit quicker once you've got into it. It's almost like kind of riding a camel or something, so I've been told. This is a great way to get your energy up we start to get the energy up from the base of the spine all the way up to our crown chakra. You can keep your eyes closed, keep your awareness turned inwards. Just a few more seconds, you might already start to feel the heat in the body. And breathe in deeply, sit up tall, hold the breath and apply root lock. So pull up rectum, sex organs, navel, and imagine squeezing up. And visualize white light energy rising up from your tailbone all the way up to your midbrain. Keep squeezing, keep holding. And release. Awesome. 
and just bring your fingertips onto your shoulders, fingers in front, thumb, th thumbs behind, elbows about shoulder height, but don't tense your shoulders. Gonna inhale a little twist left, exhale right, in, out, in, out. Okay, we got that dynamic, short breath, but it should be audible, especially on that exhale. Really pull the belly button in towards the spine. This is great for realigning the spine. So you might hear a little kind of clunk and click in your spine. Also helps our lungs, helps us breathe more easily. It's kind of like, if you imagine like plaque deposits building up on the lungs and we're clearing them. So the head turns with the chest still lengthening the crown of the head up towards the sky just a few more seconds and breathe in Hold the breath, apply root locks, so squeeze your pelvic floor muscles, visualize that energy flowing up, all the way up to your midbrain. And release, relax the arms. I'm just gonna simulate our thyroid gland and our throat chakra. What are you gonna do? Inhale, shrug the shoulders up, squeeze as tight as you can. Exhale, drop them. Breathe in and out. This activates our thyroid gland, also helps to release tension from the shoulders. So really squeeze up as tight as you can, then let, just let them drop. Make sure your spine staying nice and tall, no slouching. We hold a lot of tension, a lot of worries in our shoulders. You might start to feel like the shoulders are getting more tense but keep going keep going through it trust me keep going you're probably feeling that heat building up in your shoulders just keep telling yourself that your mind is stronger than your muscles Just another 10 more seconds, you can do it. And inhale, squeeze, hold, apply your root lock, squeeze up, keep tensing, even tighter, really squeeze those shoulders. Exhale and release. And you might feel a nice warm rush of energy your shoulders, your neck, the back of your throat. Awesome. Then with your right hand, bring your thumb and index finger together. Rest that hand on your thigh or your knee. With the other hand, you're going to block your left nostril. Now, I know sometimes for some reason, Facebook or videos like tend to reverse. So when I'm saying one thing, it looks like I'm doing the opposite. But you want to be breathing in and out through your right nostril. This side is associated with our sun energy. The left side is lunar energy. All you're gonna do is deep breathing just as you did in the beginning, but just through the right side. So as you breathe in, let your belly expand, ribcage expand, chest rise. As you exhale, chest soften, ribcage relax. Keep exhaling till you feel your belly button pull in towards your spine. This also activates the left side of our brain.
one more. Breathe in as deep as you can. And breathe out completely. And release your hands. Bring both thumbs and index finger together. Rest your hands on your thighs. We're going to do a very energizing and firing breath, warming, energizing, detoxifying the whole body. It's called breath of fire. And then imagine like panting like a dog. And on that exhale, really pull the belly button in. We're going to start off with the tongue out, and that helps to detoxify the body, especially if you uh, taste a kind of metallic taste on your tongue. That's kind of like toxins coming out. So we're going to start off with the tongue out. I'm going to keep going, but close the mouth. And really focus on that exhale. So sitting up nice and tall. You turn your awareness inwards. Take a breath in. And stick out your tongue and begin. You may feel silly, but keep going till I say stop. And really focusing on that exhale, pull that belly button in, feel your tummy muscles working. And keep going, but close your mouth. Again, keep going until I say stop. So it's a very heating pose. You'll feel heat build up in your body, but you should really feel your tummy muscles working on that exhale. So the inhale becomes almost passive. It's great if you want a boost of energy. Just a few more seconds. And then take a deep breath in. Apply your root lock, squeeze rectum, sex organs, navel, squeeze. Imagine drawing the energy up, squeezing the energy up. So we're actually squeezing cerebral spinal fluid up your spine. Keep the shoulders relaxed, squeeze a little bit tighter, pull the tummy muscles in. Turn your eye gaze in and up towards your third eye point. See if you can hold a little bit longer. And release. Awesome. And if you're on the floor, just come down. If you're on a chair, you can do this on your chair. Stretch your legs out from the floor. Just grab your butt cheeks and pull them back. That helps to tip the pelvis forward slightly. If you're on your chair, just do a simple twist, taking one hand to the outside of your knees and reach your arm around behind you. If you're on the floor with me, Bend your right knee and just take that foot across. But try not to bring it in too close. Make sure you've got enough room that you can sit up nice and tall. And keep this left leg activated. Twists are so good for you. They help to detoxify the body because they compress your inner organs and then you get a fresh supply of blood flowing through afterwards. So we're going to twist to our right. So imagine turning through the belly button first, then taking your ribs. And taking your chest and shoulders, keep lifting up nice and tall, reach around with your right hand, just resting the fingertips lightly so you're not like hanging out here. If you can, bring the left arm to the outside of the knee, press that arm against the knee, but press the knee against the arm. So you should be able to release that back hand and this straight leg that's on the floor, press the back of the knee into the floor. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. And turning your head to look over your back shoulder and breathe as deeply as you can obviously you'll feel that compression in your lower belly because of the twist but imagine trying to breathe as deeply as you can i always say to people if you only ever do one yoga pose a day do a twist they're so so good for you and they help release tension in the spine well as massaging your inner organs. We've got Felix in here now as well. And release your head first, then shoulders, chest, 
I'll just take a little counter pose the other way. So just turn the other way a little bit. And release. Come back. And we'll switch sides. If I shut them out, they just knock on the door. So bend your left knee. Take that foot across. Yeah, make sure you're sitting up nice and tall so you can still feel your sit bones. Keep this right foot flexed. And we're going to twist to the left. So start, imagine turning through your belly button first. Then turning through your ribs. Turning your chest. Your shoulders. Reach the left hand around behind you. And if you can, take the arm outside the leg. Press the arm into the leg, leg into the arm. Keep the shoulders relaxed. And breathe deeply. And still imagine trying to breathe down into the belly, even though there's a little bit of compression there. Each time you breathe in, imagine stretching the crown of the head up to the ceiling. Each time you breathe out, imagine twisting a little bit further. And unwind head, shoulders, chest, belly, and take a little counter pose around the other way. And release. Stretch out the legs, shake them out a little bit, bounce them up and down, give them a little mini massage, shake them out. And just close your eyes again. And just simply noticing how you feel now compared to when you started. Notice the energy shift just in that short 17 minutes. Namaste, enjoy the rest of your day, beautiful soul. If you want to know more about full length classes and sessions, just jump in my inbox.